is, let's get my Hollow Nine helmet ready to go. What about Bible study, Chris? Joy, I didn't volunteer to run the meeting. Maybe you could take it over. Christopher Jake Quantum, I am not the one who Pastor Aaron wants to do it. It's you. I love the Bible, but the heroes of my Hollow Nine games are more today, you know? So if you call Pastor not Aaron... Uh, <laughs> Joy, Hollow Nine first Bible heroes later. <laughs> Super Bug. No, not again! Not another Superbook adventure! Oh, please! Abraham, the father of Israel, who showed extraordinary faith in believing God's promises. Queen Esther, who risked her own life to save the Jews from being killed by King Xerxes. Daniel, who demonstrated unshakable faith in a foreign land. David, whose missions for the Lord were many, and grew from a boy to a man after God's own heart. All heroes and heroines, because in times of great need, they answered God's call. Hello friends, this is Ajay Krayor. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm back with Superbook episode. What is the benefit of trials and suffering for Christ? Dear friend, who do you know that prefers suffering or hardship over smooth sailing with no problems or discomfort? My guess would be Nobody. The truth is that as a Christ follower or as a follower of Christ Jesus, we will face trials and suffering. In some parts of the world today, even physical persecution and suffering is a daily reality. Jesus said in John 16 verse 33, I have told you all this so that you may have peace in me. Here on earth you will have peace many trials and sorrows, but take heart because I have overcome the world. Jesus did not say if, he said will. We will have many trials and sorrows as he experienced in this world. But the good news is that we can still have peace inside through Jesus. He has overcome the world and will have the ultimate victory over our temporary trials. Romans chapter 8 verse 17 tells us and since we are his children we are his heirs. In fact together with Christ we are heirs of God's glory but if we are to share his glory we must also share his suffering. We all get excited about sharing his glory but would like to leave out the suffering part. Dear friend, a true believer, a true follower of Christ who does not compromise his beliefs will experience both. One benefit of going through suffering and trials is that we can then comfort and encourage others who experience the same things. 2 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 3 through 7. Dear friend, 2 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 4 and 5 says, he comforts us in all our troubles so that we can comfort others. When they are troubled, we will be able to give them the same comfort God has given us. For the more we suffer for Christ, the more God will shower us with his comfort through Christ. Isn't that awesome? The more we suffer, the more God Sours us with comfort. And in return, we can show the same comfort to others. Dear friend, before Jesus was arrested and died on the cross, he warned Peter that he was about to face a trial from Satan, the devil. Peter denied Jesus as he had predicted. But there was a purpose to it all. Luke chapter 22 verse 31 and 32 says, Simon, Simon, Satan has asked to shift each of you like wheat, but I have pleaded in prayer for you, Simon, that your faith should not fail. So when you have repented and turned to me again, strengthen your brothers. Jesus did not remove the trial from Peter, but he prayed for for him. So when he made it through and was strengthened, Peter could then help others. We know that Jesus came to restore Peter after he had 
abandon Jesus. He sent Peter out to take care of his lambs and sheep, which are God's people. Peter, having experienced that, the trial and suffering, was now better equipped to relate to and gently encourage and strengthen others in similar situations. Dear friend, when we willingly suffer for our faith and God's purpose, He will use it for our good. Romans chapter 8 verse 28 First Peter chapter 2 verse 19 through 21 says, For God is pleased when, conscious of His will, you patiently endure unjust treatment. Of course, we can get no credit for being patient if you are beaten for doing wrong. But if you suffer for doing good and endure it patiently, God is pleased with you. Amen. Dear friend, I hope you are encouraged by listening to The Benefit of Trials and Suffering for Christ. Please read your Bible yourself and learn more about how much is the benefit of trials and suffering for Christ and how you grow in faith by being in suffering and trials and in Lord's part. Thank you for being with us throughout this video till now and please like, share, comment and subscribe our channel for more videos similar to this. I will be sharing more about faith in coming days too.